Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today we are going to solve A set Jan 2018 question paper which we have started earlier and solved till question number 26. So today we are going to start with question number 27. So question 27 says suppose Z has standard normal distribution then E Z to the power 17 is so e z to the power 17 can also be written as integration over minus infinity till infinity and the equation we have here is 1 by root over 2 pi into z to the power 17 into e to the power minus z whole square whole divided by 2 dz d is z we have so as you can see we have the same limits here and our equation here is this one so seeing this equation we can directly say that this equation is an odd function so this equation is an odd function and here we have minus infinity to plus infinity so we can use that formula that is integration over fx from minus a to a will be equal to 0 if fx is odd so we had a formula like this so simply this will be equal to 0 so our answer to this question is option number c so now let's move on to our next question that is question number 28 Question number 28 says, suppose x and y are independent random variables with variance of x equal to v1 and variance of y equal to v2. Let z equal to px plus 1 minus p into y for p between 0 to 1. The value of p that minimizes variance z is. So first let us find variance z. So this we know we can write this as v which also can be written as p square into v1 plus 1 minus p whole square into v2 so we can write this like this now differentiating here we have differentiating we need to differentiate this to find the minimum value we need to find the minimum value here so differentiating with respect to p we get here dv by dp which is equal to differentiating this we get 2pv1 plus 2pv2 minus of 2v2 so we need to equate this to equal to 0 so solving this further we will get our value to p which is v2 by v1 plus v2 where this value is minimum it can be found by differentiating this equation twice we need to differentiate this equation twice and then we can find that this equation is minimum so let's check the answers so option number a matches with our answer hence answer to this question is option number a so now let's move on to our next question that is question number 29 so our question number 29 says the random variables x and y have joint distribution p x equal to i y equal to j equal to c into i plus j for i equal to 0 comma 1 and j equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 the value of c is so basically here we need to find the value of c so this can be found by the equation where summation i is equal to 0 till 1 and second summation we have j equal to 1 till 3 here we have 0 and 1 here we have 1 2 3 so this will be c into i plus j the given equation will be equal to 1 so let us solve this so let our first summation be as it is so this will be like this and our second summation here we have c i plus first element is 1 plus c i plus 2 plus c i plus 3 equal to 1 so let us solve this here so this will be like this here we have c 
and this will be i plus 1 plus i plus 2 plus i plus 3 equal to 1 so this can be written as c into 3i plus 6 which is equal to 1 so further solving here we have this can be written as 3c i plus 2 equal to 1 so solving similarly we need to solve this summation also we need to put the value 0 and 1 in place of i and then add both the terms we will get here 15 c equal to 1 hence c is equal to 1 by 15 so let's check the options so option number d matches with our answer hence answer to question number 29 is option d so now let's move on to our next question that is question number 30 so question number 30 says suppose x binomial n comma p then covariance x comma n minus x is so we know here that covariance x comma n minus x will be equal to minus of variance of x so this is a general form so from this we can say that minus variance of x will always be equal to n into p 1 minus p so this is the resultant equation so let's check the options so here we can see that option b matches with our answer hence option b is the correct answer to question number 30 so now let's move on to our next question that is question number 31 so question 31 says consider the paired object observations on x comma y which is 0 comma 0 1 comma 2 2 comma 3 3 comma 5 and 5 comma 7 a regression line of form y equal to ax is to be fitted based on the observations by the least square method the least square myth estimate of a is so let us start the least square estimate this can be find by using the formula that is from i equal to 1 till n this will be y i minus a x i whole square so this we know we have a general form for this that is a equal to summation i equal to 1 till n x i y i whole divided by we have summation i equal to 1 till n x i whole square so let us solve this here we have from 1 to n and our n is 1 2 3 4 5 so x i into y i so first we have 0 comma 0 second we have 1 comma 2 third we have 2 comma 3 fourth we have 3 comma 5 and fifth we have 5 comma 7 so let us find here here we have 0 comma 0 which is equal to 0 here we have 1 comma 1 so 1 into 2 is 2 plus we have 2 comma 3 that is 6 plus 3 comma 5 that is 15 plus 7 comma 5 that is 35 divided by x i square so we need the square of the first term so here we have 0 0 square is 0 1 so 1 square is 1 plus 2 2 square is 4 plus 3 3 square is 9 plus 5 so 5 square is 25 so solving this we will get 58 divided by 39 so let's check the options so option number c matches with our answer hence answer to question number 31 is option c so i would like to end the video here you will find the solution of further topics in our next video